So this is? This is Harland Wolf's headquarters building. The administration offices, where the drawing offices are housed, where Andrews had his office, where Lord Perry had his office. And this hasn't been used since the late 1980s. When they went out of here, they cut off the heat. Whoa. And that's why it's in such a bad condition. This is a little tribute to the Guarantee Group. And there's that quote that you had heard, there go my pals, Nelly, from Thomas Andrews. Artie Frost, Roger. How do you say his last name? Chisholm. That's kind of on par with how I would pronounce it, then. <laughs> Not quite. And the apprentices, Sophie Cunningham, William Cowboy, Watson, Frank Parks. Albert Irvine is I should have changed the battery. Don't have that much longer. Okay, well then you need to get the main event. Just yeah. watch that they can't see you through the windows. So that's that drawing office that you have the picture of up in Pigeon Forge with all the jobs men working away. Yeah. That's that room. Got the skylights to allow sunlight. Here is something. It gets a bit dark down here, but uh, oh, I can see what you're talking about with all the stuff falling off. It's it's in a bad condition. It really is. Uh, the second drawing office, and be very careful because it will be able to see us through. So we'll come back to that. That's the one with the tree going through it. This is Andrew's office. <gasps> okay. Good. Holy. Is that mildew? Yeah, it's just dump. In a fireplace. The desk comes from the Andrews Mill in Cumber, where we just came from. So it is an Andrews piece of furniture, but it wasn't necessarily in here. But if you look at the old photographs of the drawing offices, these are the desks that they use. Wow. You can imagine in here. What about this? Yeah, it's just a, a closet, but it has some new hangers in it. But is this original? That's well. Anything wouldn't, yeah. Apart from this, this paneling, it's as it was. Wow, that's incredible. And that model you saw in my house, we yeah. had it here and sat here. Wow. <laughs> Until they closed this off. You can almost feel his presence. Yeah, I mean, I could. Uh, I mean, I can almost like hear. I can almost hear like discussions and things like that going on in this one. Well, he would have been in and out to keep an eye on what the draftsmen were doing. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Let me show you down to Perry's office. Yeah, take a note of the linoleum tiles <laughs> uh, because they are the same as Royal Titanic. These are the leftover ones which should have gone on to Britannic. Yeah. But because she was kitted as a hospital ship, they weren't needed. So, Incredible. all the linoleum you see here, it's all the same as in Titanic. Wow. And then this was Perry's office. What are those? They are old Harland and Wolf plans. Now they're not from 1912. A lot of them are copies, tracings, but they're Harland and Wolf ships. I need to get full scale blueprints, plans of Titanic. Okay. Where can I find them? You, you could get them. You could get copies of them. Yeah. yeah. Often the ones that I find are not the kind I'm looking for. Right. For one thing, I need a, I need a profile of the Titanic and the one that illustrates the uh, the bulkheads. Mm -hmm. But but any and all, actually. I also want you know the, the, the ones with the bird's eye view of, of all the decks. Mm-hmm. But so none of so are some of these original? Yep. I mean, as in mm -hmm. anything that's not a tracing like that. Yeah. So anything that, that's uh, let's see anything that's linen backed, for example, are originals. But the museum have been through and taken anything they feel is significant away. 
But the reality is Harland and Wolfe will never build another ship. So all of these are significant in their own little way. Titanic, as you know, was 401, and some of these are in the 1600s, so wow. you know, they're, they're way, way up. They were quite prolific. Exciting. You see the details of these plans, which were all hand drawn. Yeah. 